Okay, let us go to the next topic, which is saving report selection variance. This is an interesting uh, feature provided by SAP. Let me show you what it is. Okay, any any report selection screen. This is called a report selection screen simply because uh, based on the selection only the report will be generated. Okay, that's why it's a report selection screen. For example, if you say customer account 5001, that means the report will be filtered for only this customer account. And uh, there are a lot of other fields which you can specify in this report selection screen. Alright. So, does this mean uh, each time you quit? Alright. If somebody else key in the change the customer account, the last last entered customer account or company code and the and and any entries in this, in this fields will be displayed. So, for example, if I choose customer C and then I change the date to uh, right um, something else like. Uh, 10th April 2009 and change a few more variables here um, does this mean that each time I change this information okay the earlier information which is entered is erased so if I come again now see the 5001 is no longer there so I have to key in again right this is a bit troublesome so SAP provides an option to save whatever values that you enter in this report selection screen so that you can uh, bring it back later if you want to. For example, I want to save this selection here. I just enter all the information and then press the save button. <coughs> See? I get a variant screen variant screen where I can give a name to the variant sample variant All right this is a sample variant give a description All right now whatever that I have entered will be saved here if I press one more time it is saved so let me go to 5001 again and execute I get 5001 report so if I come back if I want to load the the very the very the selection screen fields that I saved earlier I just go here sample variant see all the uh, values that are saved will be listed here by the name that you have given when you are saving the variant so I given this name right when I save so I set this see I get back the old values of the selection screen alright this is the usage of variant this is this may look very simple for you because there are only a few fields here but some SAP reports for example uh, let me go to channel ledger check this okay not okay look at this report here so there are plenty of fields to select right so if you fill up all these fields for example sun currency type 10 and so forth and then you execute and I quit the screen you're going to lose all this information that you filled up here so this is where this saving variant option will become a very good tool for you to retain let me just fill up 
retain the the value centered see again I can give it a name and save it sounds good right okay now let me tell explain to you some of the details of this selection screen normally this is used only to save the field values entered in the selection screen you just enter very name and the description and save it but you may be wondering what are these options are for so let me just explain I'm not going to explain each and every field here because then it will become very complicated for you to understand I'm going to explain only the important fields that's the objective of uh, SAP choose okay we are not going to explain each and every field that is available in the screen or an option we are going to explain only the important ones which is absolutely necessary for you to know for example this field here if you select this option here you see the, all the field names here these are the selection these are the fields available in the se selection screen if you choose protect that means this field cannot be edited I'm going to show it to you now I'm going to put uh, that's very nice test protect now let me go to ledger where is the ledger frame over here right ok let me choose the option test alright ok now I think we I cannot show this protect example using this ledger field because it is highlighted as a parameter field you see this indicator AP which means parameter parameter you can't really control these options here we go to here currency type okay look at the currency type here right what I'm going to do here is I just go to here and then put a protect uh, check mark in the protect field for currency type and save it it asks whether to override the variant test yes you see I come back here now the currency type is protected I can't change whatever value that is entered is can't change let me protect the company code right I save I need to find the company code field yeah it's over here more than one company code uh, this refers to a first company code the second one should be somewhere down here All right okay if you want to go to the variant you have to press save only then you can go to the variant now I'm going to remove the check mark see what happens see the currency type is enabled again this is how you play with this variable protect field hide field is the other way around you totally remove the field from the selection screen let me save see it's no longer be displayed currency type is gone let us bring it back I just remove it this is one more option if I choose this this is not a good example let me just go here for ok let me show the, the example for this field using company code I come here and search remember whenever you search for a field you have to, you have to highlight to this column here if you highlight here and search the search will run on this column so you won't search the company code ok 
you want to search here right so you have to highlight here and then press the search button and enter company code and then once you find it you just click oh, cancel so that you can go there and then you press this check mark save it see what will happen is that the range field is taken out for the company code that's the uh, use of this field you see this here the range field cannot be found right you can only enter one value you can enter a range for example I remove the check mark then you can see the range again ok cancel I remove it save it now I can see the range that's the purpose of that field then ok this one is to make a field mandatory for example let me go to company code again I want to make company code as a mandatory field currently it's an optional field right if I tick this it become a required field I save it see the check mark there this check mark means it's required right so how to remove it let me save it I go to company code now I'm going to remove the check mark here and save it let me clear this again and you'll note the check mark is gone ok so it's no longer a required field alright let me quit and come back now the variant is now selected you have to press that and then select the variant alright now selected what I need to show you now is that what happens if you want to delete the variant just go here this is available in all the report selection screen menu just go to variants go to delete if you want to display you can display this ok if you want to delete just choose delete just highlight test and delete ok I'm not going to delete it right these are the options if you want to edit the variant you need to press the save button and it will take you to the currently selected variants edit window this is a currently selected variant right well, this is how you do it now let me delete it double click all clients delete deleted so let me see whether you can see the variant again choose see the variant is not there this variant is substandard variant ok now that's about it on the report selection screen variants